and they were the fastest in practice in January. In fact, they were going to bring a new car back, but they were so quick. His crew chief, Gil Martin, and Austin Dillon said, we want to bring this car back. The new car they built for him actually is what his teammate, Paul Menard, has here. You know, Austin's brother, Ty, won the truck race last year at Texas, and that was the 100th win for Richard Childress with a number three. So far, he's done it 46 42 by a tenth of a second, a full tenth. That's the fastest first lap. And you can see the tracker keeps moving to the left. Remember, that's the area where there's so many drivers in that 46 20 bracket. That first lap of Dillon's, the 21st fastest lap of the whole day. This is the number to watch that right there. That's the interval right now. He's tracking on the front row. I'm not sure there it goes to the left. Is it going to stay there as he comes to the checkered flag? Top of the chart for Austin Dillon. The 23 year old rookie runs 45 91 and he is fastest trying to become the fourth different driver to put a number three on the pole for the Daytona 500. And the first thing he just said, hey, that puts us in the Sprint Unlimited next year. It also puts you leading the field. I'm just going to say this, leading the field to the green in the Daytona 500 in the three car. It's been 1,338, 1, 392 laps since the three was on the track in a Sprint Cup race. I just got chills saying it, if I could spit it out. What does this mean to you, Austin? It, this is awesome. It's all for our guys. And this guy right here, the head engine builder right here, Danny Lawrence, it's his birthday, so we got him a one-two start at Daytona. This is pretty awesome. I love it. I love it. Good job, Adam. Thank you. And uh, we talked about the pressure, the fact that, I mean, all the hype is surrounding you, obviously bringing the three back. You've driven the three for so many years in the other series, but do you understand the magnitude for some of these fans, for drivers who have never raced against the three, yourself being behind the wheel, your father, your grandfather. You've been in victory lane with Dale Earnhardt when he won the Daytona 500 when you were about this tall. Is it all going to sink in? Has it sunk in? And when do you think it will? Uh, you just try and stay focused and because, you know, everybody wants to see this number perform well. And that's what my goals are is to stay focused. It's hard to celebrate because I know this is this is just qualifying, but it's great for these guys. Like Gil said, you never know the next time you'll be standing in this position again. So it's awesome. Um, just want to thank our family back at home at RCR. They've done such a good job. The fab shop, engine shop, everybody, my guys. It's just uh, it's all them. I, I hope luckily I didn't mess it up. We knew we had a fast car and uh, we came down here and we, we brought it back, so it's good.